She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, drops on Disney Plus Hotstar on Thursday, August 18th. And we got a chance to speak to director Kat Coiro about what makes this show different from everything else on the MCU. Your transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the series. I absolutely love it. The first thing I will say is that She-Hulk feels like weekly episodic television and not a six hour movie. Um, and can you tell me about that? Because so much of premium television that we see these days seems to be crafted as this long film. And you've taken a rather traditional route, which I absolutely love. Well, I love short things, especially when it comes to comedy. I think the shorter, the better. So I love, you know, how compact these episodes are and how, you know, they move at a real clip, a comedic pace. Um, and so much happens in them as well. Yeah. So we, we cram a lot into a short span of time, which I love. And I think there's a certain luxury in a series where you can spend time getting to know characters and it's not all plot driven. And I think sometimes films and some series have this ticking clock, you know, let's get from A to B really quickly. And with us, it's like, it's the small moments that are my favorite moments and the little moments of human connectivity and comedic banter um, that this format really allows for. It also feels, at least from the first four episodes that we were allowed to watch, that you weren't burdened with setting up a hundred different things like at, in the first four episodes no one mentions the word multiverse um so what was that like for your process because it feels like you could do something here yeah it was very freeing it was very fun the setting is a superhuman law office and we live in the MCU where the reality is that superheroes exist. So even the cameos felt very organic and not gratuitous. But you know, if you're a superhero and you need legal help, where do you go? You go see She-Hulk. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got, I think I've got about a minute or so left. Um, it's, these things are always how much you can cram in four minutes. But I'm curious about whether there were any characters that you wanted to include in the series that you either decided against or were not allowed to. Um, no, look, I think Daredevil is so the obvious choice for being in a legal half hour comedy and we got him. So all dreams were fulfilled. All boxes were checked. Oh, fantastic. And, 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 and with, with regards to, I guess, the breaking of the fourth wall, was that something that you took inspiration from? Say Fleabag? Absolutely not. She Hulk was breaking the fourth wall way before Fleabag. She was. She was. Way the comics did it and ages ago. <laughs> so that was baked into the fabric. And as a fan yeah. of the comic, you know, when people would say, oh, is it going to be compared to this or that? I would say, I don't care. She's been breaking the fourth wall for 40 years. She takes precedent. Take that, that everybody else. Sense. That being said, I love <laughs> Fleabag. <laughs> <laughs> that should be on a t shirt. Suck it. <laughs> She helped it first. Um, Kat, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure and congratulations. The show is fantastic. Thank you. Just want to make sure that you don't think this is one of those cameo every week type of shows. Well, except Bruce and Blonsky and Wong. That was director Kat Coiro. She Hulk Attorney at Law drops on Disney Plus Hotstar on Thursday, August 8th. Let us know what you think about the show once you've seen it. Sound off in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our other interviews right here on YouTube. Tell your friends, tell your family, you know what to do.